Hello, in this video, we will talk about the FX series of hybrid alloy bikes from Trek. We will cover the frames of these bikes, the forks, the wheels, tires, drivetrain, give a brief summary and in the end also suggest alternatives you should consider from other manufacturers before buying the Trek FXs. But before we begin, I would like to give a quick background on the Trek FXs. The FX series of bikes from Trek are their rigid fork alloy hybrid bikes that are designed for utilitarian as well as leisure rides in the city or beyond where the road is good enough for you not to need a suspension. If you want a bike that can do a better job of going over rough roads or light gravel and some suspension is imperative for the terrain you are riding on, then you may look at the dual sport range of bikes from Trek. All of the bikes we will cover have mudguard and rack mounts which can make your office commute machine look somewhat like this which is so so much cooler than doing the same in a car. In this video we will only cover the alloy range of FX series bikes that is the Trek FX1, FX1 disc, FX2 disc and the flagship of the range which is the Trek FX3 disc. The range uses two frames basically, one that cantilever brake version that is used in the Trek FX1 and the flat mount disc brake version that is used in the Trek FX discs. All of the bikes are made using the same material which is Trek's Alpha Gold Aluminium Alloy. The frames have provision for mudguard and rack mount. The FX caliper brake frame is offered in 4 sizes but the FX disc frame is offered in 6 sizes with the extra small and extra extra large being the 2 surplus sizes. Six sizes being offered in a hybrid bike is really generous and should make finding a bike of your size much easier. The fork is where things start to differ drastically. The FX1 forks are made using steel, the FX2 disc fork is made of alloy and finally the FX3 disc fork is made from carbon. Alloy forks are lighter and absorb vibrations much better than steel forks while carbon forks do an even greater job of the same. Tire clearance in all cases is 38C without fenders and 35C with fenders. Let's quickly move on to the drivetrain of the bikes then. We will start off with the crankset. The FX1 has a forged alloy 3 by crank with 48, 38, 28 teeth. The FX1 disc comes with a 2 by forged alloy 46 by 30 crank. The FX2 disc with the same crank again and finally the FX3 disc with a 1 by pro wheel alloy 40T crank. To a newbie, it may feel like you are getting less for your money, but the higher end cranks are stiffer, lighter and simplify the shifting experience for you so that you mainly have to concentrate to shifting at the rear end of the bike which we will talk about now. The FX1 is equipped with a Sunday 7 speed 1434 cassette, the FX1 disc with a Shimano 1132 8-speed cassette, the FX2 disc with a 9-speed 1136 cassette and finally the FX3 disc with a 10-speed M4100 Diore 1146 cassette. Tire choices include a 700 by 35 c Bontrager H2 Com tire for the FX1s as well as the FX2 disc and a 700 by 32 c H2 Com for the FX3 disc which because they are slightly narrower should roll with less resistance. The FX1 has a Tektro alloy linear pull cantilever brake while the FX1 disc is equipped with Tektro mechanical disc brakes with 160mm rotors. Same size rotors are also used in the FX2 disc with the braking now being Tektro hydraulic though. The FX3 disc comes with Shimano MT201 hydraulic disc brakes with RT26 rotors. Hydraulic disc brakes offer much more bite and assured stopping, especially in the wet. Here is a brief summary of the 4 bikes from Trek we have featured. Needless to say, for more money you get better components, shifting, stopping as well as significantly better forks that can alter the ease with which you ride your bike. Alternatives to the FX series of bikes from Trek include the Giant Escape series, the Specialized Cirrus, Cannondale Quick. I would make a comparison video of the FX Escape and Cirrus in my channel. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching this. Please hit the like button if you like this and I'll see you next time.